All right, so when you install a llama on your Windows PC, and if you install a model, whether it's a big model or small model, it doesn't matter. The model file is going to get saved on the users followed by your username, followed by this uh, .llama folder. And inside this folder, you're going to see this uh, models folder. And if we just quickly look at uh, the file size, and right now in my directory, all these files belong to a single model that I downloaded. Now I say on my PC, I have a separate uh, drive dedicated for storage. Now instead of using my C drive, I want to uh, change the save location. And to do that, so first I want to uh, open the environment viewable window. Then I want to click on environment variables. In the system variables section, I want to create a new variable. For the variable name, you want to make sure that you name this as Olama underscore models. And make sure that the variable name is in uppercase. Then we can assign the new path. We want to uh, save the model file. So for example, let's say I want to uh, change the default directory to my H drive under Olama models. So I'm going to simply copy the uh, folder path. And I'll assign the folder path to the variable value and OK. Now make sure that you quit the Olama server and wait maybe for like uh, 30 seconds and launch the Olama server again. And here you can already see that the blocks folder got created automatically. So next time we download a model from Olama's website, the model files are going to get saved in this new directory. So I hope this video is useful. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.